planet Earth, our home, is running out of space of what we don't want, our garbage. Did you know that each person produces 4.3 pounds of trash every day? Mexico City produces 5,000 tons of garbage a day. We throw away 50 billion cans, 20 billion glass bottles, and 75 million plastic each year. That's a lot of trash to throw away, isn't it? Then we have packaging, rubber, food, waste, and others. 85% of our trash is sent to landfills. We all think that putting the garbage in its place is the end of the problem. But it's not. So let me show you the trouble that garbage has to make after you throw it away. 80% of what we throw away is put in landfills where there's no control. For every 100 kilos, only 70 kilos are collected. More than 30,000 tons a day go to rivers, gullies, or vacuum loads where they turn into sources of infection. But then again, where does all this garbage come from? We, as families, generate 43% of it. Then we have shops who generate 23%. Then markets generate 10% and 10.6% from parks and gardens. 1% from hospitals and 11.2% from other activities. And you will wonder, why is all this important? What about joining me on a trip? We are going to go to the future. I want to show you something. But don't worry, we are on time. How? Easy. We have this. The three R's. Reducing, reusing, and recycling. We can't forget about this important letter and what it represents. It could really help to save our beloved home. The three arts are the heart of the Go Green Global Movement. As the first need to manage resources more sustainably. The world's resources are not infinite and it's known that our daily activities are contributing to climate change. But there's a way out. I'll tell you about it coming up. And coming up, the three R's. Excusa número 283 Híjole, la verdad no creo poder ir a actualizarla hoy, ¿eh? Estoy esperando a ver un partido importantísimo que no me puedo perder ni de loco, ¿eh? Venga, venga, Fernández, con todo, sí. El 15 de enero se acaban las excusas y el tiempo para actualizar el domicilio de tu credencial para votar. Así que acude a cualquier módulo de IFE de tu estado antes del 15 de enero, haz el trámite y vota donde te corresponde en las elecciones de 2012. Lo que hace grande a un país es la participación de su gente, IFE. Me comprometí a alcanzar la cobertura universal de salud, es decir, médico, medicinas, tratamiento y hospital para toda mexicana o todo mexicano que lo necesite. Estamos a punto de lograrlo. Hoy, gracias al Servicio Popular y al Sistema Nacional de Salud, la salud de más de 100 millones de mexicanos ya está protegida. Con hechos, construimos un México más fuerte. Quinto informe de gobierno. Gobierno Federal. Un mundo donde se permite fumar en cualquier lugar. Se recomienda fumar mientras haces ejercicio. No molesta que fumes mientras comen, todos hacen lo mismo. Puedes fumar embarazada y en el carro con tus hijos de pasada. Un mundo donde los cigarros son las pruebas de agua para que fumes mientras te bañas. Y a los no fumadores les encanta el humo del cigarro en la cara. Recuerda, el paraíso de los fumadores es el paraíso. Fumar mata. Mi nombre es Noé Sánchez Arcadio, yo soy originario de Orizaba. Estábamos pensando mes con mes la renta, la luz, el agua. Luego mi esposa me decía, hay que buscar una casita. Y completé para, para obtener esta casa. Me dio ahora sí que la sala abrí y pues ya, era mi casa. A mi hijo lo veo muy contento, que ya es su casa y ya encontró amigos. Esta nueva casa nos cambió la vida, ¿verdad, hija? Sí. 
Con hechos, construimos un México más fuerte. Quinto informe de gobierno. Gobierno federal. First of all, we have to see if the product we want to buy is grabbed or no and how. If they are too grabbed and have a lots and lots of layers that don't need to be there, then don't buy it. They will charge those layers in the price anyway. Search for a product not too overgrabbed or look for materials that don't require a lot of energy to be made. You can usually find this information on the package. Another thing is, you see my bags? Don't use plastic bags when you go shopping. These ones are not expensive and you will really really help the environment. They are sold in almost every convenience store. You can find them easily and carry more things at once. See this hickey? It's impossible to open, and it just makes more trash, you know? The first thing we have to know so that we don't end up like that dumb reality is that we have to reduce. The best part of this art is that reducing will also help our economics. If you need something that you won't be using very often, then don't buy it. Find someone you can borrow it from. Mexico cuts half of million trees daily just to get a pulp. And at the same time, people throw away 10 million of newspapers. If we all help it, we should save 30% of the energy spent on producing. And then again, you're saving money. Another way to help reducing is using your computer. Instead of printing your homework, ask if you can email it, edit on screen, not on paper, print and copy as little as you can. Send and store your items electronically, not on paper. Circulate documents instead of making an individual for each one. When you must print or copy, do it double-sided. Changing the margins may help too. Instead of buying a printed book, just download it, many of them are free, or borrow by copy. The simplest thing may help, like turn it up the faucet. We don't want to waste water, do we? And of course, we can save lots of energy by turning the lights off. Whenever it's possible, use natural lighting. Using fluorescent bulbs help a lot in saving energy. When you're washing clothes, use cold water, keep windows and door closed in air conditioned or heated areas. If you need to use a car, drive a full efficient one, park in the shade so that your gasoline doesn't evaporate from your full tank, and just drive it if you really really need to. Want another way to reduce? Walk, it reduces pollution, you don't spend in gasoline and makes you feel fit. But the most difficult part of fire from reducing is asking ourselves if we really need something or not. I mean, do we really need 35 pairs of shoes, or do we really need that new lipstick which is the same color of the one we already have? Do we need another backpack when the one we have is still good and strong? Do we need to buy the new cell phone if we already have one? Think about it, it will help you your economics and our world a lot. ¡Qué tranquilidad es estar protegido por el Seguro Popular! Eso es vivir mejor. Hace más de cinco años tomé la decisión de combatir de frente a los criminales. Mi preocupación era cuidar a las familias y pensar en el país que le dejaríamos a nuestros hijos. Actuamos firmemente, sin titubeo. Hoy tenemos un México que no se arrodilla frente al crimen y que se juega el alma por cuidar a su gente. Por ti, por tu familia y por México, esta lucha vale la pena. Sexto informe de gobierno.
Gobierno Federal. La estrategia de seguridad del gobierno del presidente de la república, además de combatir el crimen, recupera y fortalece tu comunidad, como en el Centro Cultural Antigua Estación de Ferrocarril en Cuautla. Aquí ensayamos nuestra obra de teatro. Con Centros Nueva Vida. Nos orientan para que nuestros hijos no caigan en las drogas. Y escuelas mejor equipadas. Con el nuevo taller aprendemos más. Con valor, construimos los cimientos de un México seguro para ti y tu familia. Vivir mejor. Gobierno Federal. Si la última vez que tramitaste o actualizaste tu credencial para votar pasaba todo esto, revisa si está vigente. Llama al 01800-433-2000 o consulta ife.org.mx para saber qué vigencia tiene y cuándo te toca renovarla. Lo que hace grande a un país es la participación de su gente. IFE. Hey there, welcome back. I was just finishing my first plant pot made of trash. Doesn't seem like it. Does it? Well, now it's time to talk about the second R, reuse. It may be seems difficult or laborious, but you can get lots of benefits from reusing. You see, one of the best things of reusing is that we can do it together, not only with our family, but with our friends. It's not like we are going to be creating stuff every day, but we can do it once a month, for example. Right now, we are doing more plant pots. We are using bottles, but we could use cans or wheels too. You just need imagination, color, and your beloved ones. Cans again. We can reuse them for holding almost everything. As we saw, plant pots, now paintbrushes, but what about colors and crayons? They all fit as well. Of course, We can do lots of trimmings too. We can use anything from boxes to plastic packages and newspaper. Now it's time to make a really cute plant pot. This will be really easy, fast and will look so cute. Now here comes the difficult part. The third R is for recycle. And you know what's hard of recycling? that we don't have the resources or time to those difficult procedures of recycling. I mean, we can try, but... So, what we can do is divide. No, we don't need 20 trash cans, just two at least. One for organics and one for inorganics. What we really need is a space, for example. Here is what I have saved on paper from this month. Wanna know what I'm going to do with this? Maybe I'll gain just 10 pesos, maybe less than that, but we're helping. And to save these kind of things for a month or two, it's not really the problem. The problem comes when we just throw it away. Remember, we consume energy and we file our planet with trash. Maybe we cannot transform this into beautiful sheets of paper, but those who buy it certainly can. It's like those who buy glass. We are now in a blown glass fabric. Here, they hit those pieces of glass we don't want and then make new things out of it. Oof! Can you imagine if we tried to do something like that? It's not that we simply couldn't. We don't have the artifacts, the training or the training they have. So, what we gotta do is just be patient and collect those things we could save. Then, Take them to these places. It's not that difficult now, is it? In addition to that, there is something we certainly can make. Compost. Okay, first of all, we need to know what compost is. It is an organic matter that has been decomposed and recycled as a fertilizer and soil amendment. 
It's basically the key ingredient of organic farming. And guess what? We can do it! All we need is a heap organic matter, for example, leaves and green food waste. Then we just need time for materials to break down into a humus. Making compost is often considered to be complex, but all you need to do is to provide the right ingredients and let nature do the rest. But what exactly can we compost? Well, easy. Anything that was once living will be composed. But there are some items we better avoid if we are whole composting, such as meat, fish, or cooked food. For best results, we could use a mixture of ingredients. The right balance is something learned by experience, but we can just white by adding the same quantity of greens and browns. As activators, we could use grass and soft junk weeds. And to add body to the finished compost, we need older and tougher plant material, for example, woody items. Now let's specify what are greens and browns. Greens are nitrogen rich ingredients, for example, needles, grass cuttings, compra leaves, and urine, which need to be diluted with water. We can also use raw vegetable peelings, teal bags, and leaves coffee grounds, soft green prunings, animal manure from herbivores or poultry manure and bedding. Of course, in our house we don't have all this, but we could do this with tea bags, coffee grounds, grass and vegetable peelings. Then we have the browns, or carbon-rich ingredients. We could use cardboards, waste paper and junk mail, cardboard tubes, glossy magazines, newspaper or sawdust. Once we have lots of greens and browns, we are almost ready. So, what else do we need? We need a good location. The compost pile should be located in a warm area and protected from overexposure to find out too much direct sunlight. Because overexposure dries the materials. But we do need water and air, so this place is perfect. Now, we're going to build an enclosure. We could use wood, pellets, hebelis, cinder blocks, sticks, and chicken wire or snow fencing. Or we could buy a prefabricated one, like I did. Yay! Our enclosure is ready. It's time to make the pile. So, we're going to mix it all and put there. Remember, since we don't have the experience or know which would be the perfect balance, the best thing is to mix equal amounts of greens and browns. the oxygen necessary or decomposition and compensates for excess moisture. This will make the process faster. You can mix it every day or every six weeks. More frequent turning results in faster composites. Others indicate that make the pile oxygen and more frequent turning is necessary. Occasional watering may be necessary too, especially in dry weather. Covering the pile with a black plastic reduces the need for watering and prevents rainwater from leaching out the nutrients, like this. And guess what? We have compost. Finished compost is dark brown, crumbly and has earthy odor, depending on weather conditions and our cares. It could be ready on two weeks or four months. And an attending pile will take longer than a year to decompose. Thinking green means being aware of our interconnectedness with the world and reflecting on the unintended damage we cause nature in the daily course of our lives. Thinking green leads to acting green, taking corrective action to make environmental responsibility a reality. Make it count. You know now how to use the three R's. Don't be lazy and do something for our home. Remember, little things lead to the biggest.